Hello Quebec, it's Josie Lamage. Yes, I am back today because I think it's important that we do speak that, you know, for the longest time I was wondering why Pauline Marois was always acting like, you know, she is going to call an election that she is almost sure that she's going to win. And I see it. I see it the way she 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 carries herself. How when she she voiced the fact that she was gonna she was gonna you know have the elections, but no questions were allowed to be asked. You know what is this person that she's already putting herself as an elite who's already won? Do you know what I mean? And even the the ones that win, they don't they're not allowed not to answer questions. I mean, this is what you're in polit politics. You can't just decide you're going to take decisions and not answer questions. So that means that you're above answering to the public, to the people that go and vote you into office. So I just really already there she lost a lot of points with me. Another thing too that I don't like is that you know, I'm, I'm slowly, I'm figuring out why she's acting already like she's already won, okay? She has Pierre, Pierre Carl Pilado, who's going to be joining her team. Now, who is Pierre Carl Pilado? You know, he was in charge of Videotron, you know? Of course, now, if he's going into politics, you can't be involved in all these other things, right? So he's going to have to put that aside for a moment, Another thing, too, is, you know, Le Journal de Montréal, that was his dad. You know what I mean? So now we're going in elections. Le Journal de Montréal will take a big part in discussing uh, what's happening and the views of everybody. But are they going to be able to remain to the, at a point where they are not for one side to more than the other side? Do you know what I mean? Because if they, I mean... Really, it's just something that, it, it just, to me, it just looks like fraud. Fraudulent behavior will have to be done, okay? So anyways, at this time, they're saying, you know, he's just going to renege his obligations and then that, but he doesn't want to, he, he doesn't want to, you know, say that he's just going to not be in charge anymore. He doesn't want to, he just wants to, like, let his position be dormant type of thing. You know, I'm just putting, like, in regular words here, you know, because... Because, you know, in politics, you will not be able to add all these things. You know, you have to choose. Anyway, so that's just for, for regular people just to see what is going on here. So Pauline Marois, she is basically doing, she is doing this in a way, you know, to, to just gravitate everybody. Anybody who could have been angry at Belle and is now with Videotron, a lot of people will say, oh, moi j'aime Plus, le Videotron is so much better, blah, blah, blah. I've had both. I've had Videotron, I've had Bell. okay? Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and boast any of them. It's just not what I'm going to do. But what I'm going to say here is, um, it's just, it's basically just playing with the regular population. That's what... That's going to be basically what Pauline Marois' whole thing is. To get all the, the francophones to go and vote for her and say, Oh, Videotron, you know, Carpe Do and, and whatever, and uh, Le Journal de Montréal. And, you know, that's how she's going to try to, to get her votes in. And I think that's terrible. But anyways, I know that there's way more intelligent people than stupid people. Okay? So I, I'm not worried that much about it, but I just felt like it's something that should have been said, you know? Like, uh, now I see her tactics. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing what she's trying to do. And personally, I don't think, I don't even think she's running an intelligent campaign. Again, I don't believe that she is running an intelligent campaign. And I believe that Quebecers are way more intelligent than her. So in the end, they will make the best choice, the best thing to do, they will do it. Because it doesn't make sense that, you know, I never understood, I'm telling you, I never understood how she was going. She was acting like all up and mighty, like, you know, she has everything in the bag. What, she says that she's doing these elections, but she's not answering any question. Like, what, you're, you're, you're a queen? I don't know. But um, basically, she probably thinks she's above everybody else, and everybody else is beneath her. And that, to me, is not an intelligent human Bing. But anyway, if she believes that she's going to win with all her tactics, 
More power to you, madame. Madame Pauline Marois. Je te donne toutes euh, les félicitations parce que tu crois vraiment que tu vas, tu vas vaincre avec tes tactiques qui sont vraiment néfastes. En tous les cas. On this there, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave everybody on this note. I want everybody to think about this and to look at who's coming in to help her. You know, of course she's gonna get, you know, the guy who was, in, you know, taking care of Vidéotron. You know, most francophones in, in Quebec are going to say, Moi j'aime Vidéotron, I hate Belle. And, you know, and that's, that's their vote. That's going to be their vote. Okay? It's going to be on a, on a phone thing, and that is it. Now I'm just gonna end it here. I'm just gonna say that I had both. I had Vidéotron, and I had Belle. And I'm telling you, you know, and I know that a lot of people will not like Belle too or whatever, but I, I, I have preferred Belle. I have preferred Belle. But anyways. I don't know. It's, it's, it's going to be a very interesting, very interesting uh, election. Seriously, it's going to be interesting. And I cannot wait to hear at least what the liberals have to say on this. Because the liberals, you know, to me is the a sane choice. Okay? But uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going to be happening. We'll see how people will go. We'll see if Pauline Marois' little tactics here and there, you know, trying to, you know, say, oh, look it, uh, moi j'ai choisi... Pierre Carl Pilado, huh? just to try to, to like entice all the French Quebecers to be like, oh yes, we're going there. And plus, not only that, he's with Video Trump. Moi j'aime le Video No, that's not going to be what this election is all about. But these are little things, these are little tactics that she's going to have to use to win. Okay, and this is what we all have to understand that this is what she is doing. She's not using smart things. She's not even thinking logically. She's not thinking about the finance and how to get more money into Quebec, how to make, you know, more Quebecers work and such. She's not thinking about that. You know, she's just thinking about winning. And so she's going to give the public things that they like so that they can vote for her. Well, good luck because, uh, you know, I hope to God that the lesser man does not take this election. Now, I leave the choice to you to see who the lesser man is, the lesser person is, you know. Who knows? Okay. Good elections. And please continue to educate yourself and make, you know, uh, logical votes. Okay. Vote logically. Okay. Bye.